what up Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, and make sure you're prepared for a scare, because we're covering everything in the new Fortnite Mare's Wrath of the Cube Queen update in under 5 minutes. But before any of that, if you're looking to get better at Fortnite, we've got the perfect thing for you. World class coaching that anyone can benefit from, with coaches that are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In the last week alone, our coaches helped a hundred students climb from contenders to champions. So if you want to be next, visit Pro Guides in the link below right now. So the big highlight for today's update is obviously what's happened at the center of the map. We've had a massive map change at last, and it's the arrival of the new POI, Cube Down. The Cube Down POI is going to be incredibly busy, both because it's new and because it's in the center of the map. Nevertheless, if you do want to visit the area, there is a metric ton of chests for you to open. Also, hanging above the town is the Cube Queen herself, ominously surrounded in the golden glow of the Golden Cube. In the files, this version of Cube Town is classified as Stage 1, so it's likely that the corrupting influence of the Cube Queen may spread over more space as time goes on. Most people expect this to be due to the Cube Queen, who many are theorizing will act like the Ice King when it comes to spreading the QB landscape across the island. Anyway, the official name for this area actually isn't Cube Town, it's called the Convergence. Cube Town isn't the only major change to the game this patch. A new melee based weapon has been added in the form of the Sideways Scythe. The common version of this scythe will deal 40 damage per swing, while the mythic version of the scythe will deal 46 damage per swing. All versions of this weapon will heal you when you eliminate a player, almost as if the weapon had siphon enabled. On the subject of items in game, all of the previous Fortnite Mares items are also making a reappearance, ranging from the classic pumpkin launcher to more recent additions like the witch's brooms. There's a new Halloween consumable this year, joining previous candy pieces is the new Zero Point crystal, which will likely work just like any other zero point item in the past by giving you a double jump. You'll be able to stack up to 6 of these at once. A brand new mob has been added to the game in the form of the Caretaker. This guy basically looks like Siren Head or the Order from a distance. This guy is seriously dangerous, as according to Hypex he has a hit attack, a beam sweep attack, a charge attack, and the ability to pull players in. Though Hypex admits that not all of these moves might be in the game, as some may have been scrapped. As a strange side note, loot sharks have been completely vaulted in this patch, and who knows if they'll be added back into the game at some point. With every new Fort Nightmares event, there also tends to be a spooky LTM to give players a little something special to celebrate the holiday. This year, that LTM is Horde Rush. In it, you fight off cube monsters over three rounds that get more and more difficult. The aim of the game is to get the highest score possible while also defeating the big boss at the end to win. Ok, let's get into the new spooky skins. Well, there aren't actually that many new skins that have been added to the files this patch, which isn't surprising considering this is a mid-patch update. There's the Cube Queen and Spacefarer Ariana Grande, as well as a Mummy skin. We've also got the Iris and Spooky Smalls back blings, the Moonlit Scythe Harvesting Tool, and the Iris Daydream Glider. There's still another patch coming next week, which might contain even more scary skins before the Fortnite Mares event comes to a close. So what do you think of this spooky Fortnite Mares update? Has Epic done enough to make it interesting, or does it not quite stack up to previous years? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. I'll see you next week for the next update.